welcome to EPSC design today we will see a specification I mean spec PMS piping material specification what is a specification how it use and how is created and who is created a specification let's see the piping specification is abbreviated a pipe spec is a document prepared during the design phase of any project it means when the project is get started so you have to need a spec so simultaneously before the project you will get a spec in the design phase it provides the appropriate selection specification and the material grade of a pipe and the piping component for a given service it means whatever the service is depend upon a service you will get a proper material for the pipe and the piping components what is a pipe class piping class or a pipe class is a document that specify the type of the component such as type of pipe schedule material flange ratings branch types wall types wall frame material and all the components specific requirements to be used for different fluids under a different operating condition in a plant when the fluids change the material is get changed because in the same fluid if i take a water okay if i take a oil the same material cannot be used that's why we have to use different specification because for the water the material is different for the oil the material is different that's why we have to take a different specification pipe class is developed considering operation operating pressure temperature and corrosive environment different material specification are segregated in a separate piping class pipe class is a part of the piping specification short code is used to cover all the information applicable to the given pipe class this pipe class is also included in the line number so that the field construction engineer can easily identify the material required what are the responsibility of the piping engineer piping material engineer perform only mto however the piping material engineer perform a lot of activities in a project and his role is very important in a project to perform the pipe wall thickness calculation they have to do a wall thickness calculation to depends upon the pressure temperature they have to check the how much thickness is required so they have to calculate the wall thickness pms pms is a piping material specification for process and utility service is means for the process the material requirement should be different and the for the utility service the requirement is different because the process have uh, temperature and pressure in the utility service you have a water air and a steam but it's not a more pressure or more temperature because we have to be careful with the process it should be have a more temperature and pressure so we have to be take care of this to prepare the vms wall material specifications to prepare a mr for purchase prepare the line list piping special items like steam straps strainer houses etc to prepare the data sheet for the piping specialty items and help 3d administrator in the pms creation in the 3d software like pds pdms etc how it helps for the 3d administrator because when the when they make a spec the gift the the gift to a ad, uh, admin person to be for the back hand and this whatever they have done a material they have made a spec for all the service so it comes when the model start doing a, a modeling they select a pro proper spec as per the line number and then they do the modeling because once the spec make without spec you cannot create a line you need a spec to create a line what is the use of specification while doing a piping modeling spec is made by the material department 
depend on a fluid material are selected spec is made by material department okay and depend on fluid material are selected the main thing is the fluid depend upon a fluid material as selected pi spec is shown in the line number whatever the line number are there okay we have a line number so there will be a spec is shown okay same spec cannot be used for other fluid as previously i given the example about the water and oil the water is required other material and the oil required other material so it cannot be a same spec to be used for the same other fluid spec name is not standard it is not like uh, every project it should be a same same name it should be continue for every project wherever you work you work in this company or you work in another company the funda funda is the same thing is like the spec name is there so you have to use the spec as per the project requirement they have created the spec name from spec we can check run and the branch size and the piping component availability branch size means if you have a 10 inch okay the branch size you have a main size 10 inch and your branch is connecting to four your this is a 4 inch and this is a 10 inch so you don't know like what we have to take we have to take reducing t we have to take a stub in so what we do we go to spec and we can check what exactly 10 by 4 is there okay so from there you can get okay we have to do a weld lead or we have to do some other branches so whatever the branch connection is there so you can find out with the specification from line number piping modeler use the same spec to route the line if you have a line number in the line number they have the spec is shown the person the modeler will do he will select the spec same in the line number and he will route the line checker use the spec for checking item code and material description in the isometric in the isometric you have every time you have see here you are getting a bill of material and you are getting the pipe component pipe descriptions and you can get the item code so what here you are getting that the checker is use the specification he will check the material description and item code what we have generated in the isometric here you will get the some of the example pnid okay here you have uh, cdm14 this is a one spec okay this is also same spec okay but here you can see ms12 this is a different spec it means this fluid is different okay this fluid is different and this fluid also is a different fluid because the fluid are different the spec is different the spec is different the material also will be a different here you can see another pnid example here you have a pw24 okay here you have a css okay and here you have a h10 pa so three place we have a different different spec different different fluid and we have a different different material the specification is like when we do something okay so the fluid is changed the material is changed every material have a different different products okay so when we we'll see uh, how the specifications is look like this is a specification okay you will get a client name project name and the location okay and here you have a one class the this is a one pipe class means a spec a101 is a spec so here you will get the branch table how is the branch table is look like okay here you have f mean okay h means pipe to pipe reinforced socket t weldulate instrument so you have some main size is a run size and here you have a branch size at the right side is a branch size and is a main size if you have something like 8 inch to 4 inch so okay 8 inch to 4 inch so r so what is the r stand for reinforce if you have 8 by 6 so 8 by 6 what is the 
8 by 6 also R is a is given a P to 5 to 5 we have to connect we have to check the branch like this way how the run size and the branch size is connected let's go to down we have a pipe okay here is the availability is given and the material is given over here and here is a description and here you have a item code you can check is a 10 inch size okay 10 to 24 inch this pipe will be used for this material okay this is this is an item code which is different because the pipe is from 10 inch to 24 inch you have a flange type different different flange type with the different different size you have a elbow from half inch to one and a half inch okay here you have a 90 degree 10 inch to 32 inch but the material is different and item code two different so once you go to the specification you can get the all the piping components okay you will get the fittings like t equal t you have a concentric reducer you can see reducer concentric 10 inch to 24 inch till this this much size whatever the between it comes so you will get the concentric reducer you have a cap okay you have a coupling you have a stub and you will get the valve also with this in this material what will be the size of the gate wall it will be up available it means from gate wall 2 inch to 24 okay and here is the material the item code are is given so here also you have the glove walls check wall okay you will get the gasket everything you will get it over here so what exactly you have to do in the specification you have to see the material how material is given and mostly the specification is used for to check the availability of the component if you have a globe wall okay the globe wall is given over here and your size is 18 inch but you don't have a size the size is, is given only 16 inch and you have to place a globe wall at a 18 inch so you have to contact to the admin or you have to contact with the material department person that uh, the size is given is a 18 inch but in the spike is not mentioned so they will manage something and is possible and is there um, in 18 inch we have to use a globe wall so they will arrange and they will add in the spec and it will get avail availability for 18 inch too okay and you can see you have uh, see this PNID how it's look like means uh, we have uh, some different different fluid and different different material okay and uh, you can uh, contact me on this uh, email ID okay so this is a small idea about the piping specification how we can get the idea about the specification and what is the use of specification what is the purpose of using a specification and who make the specifications uh, from the material department okay till then thank you bye